Hi everyone, I'm Zoe and I'm here with James from Spark Tech. How are you doing, James? I'm doing great, Zoe, and how are you doing today? I'm good, thanks. So James is here today to tell us about how to plan for software maintenances. So why don't you go ahead and tell us about that? Thanks, Zoe. Now, software maintenance is something that's often overlooked. You know, after you, you know, commission a project, you have it working, you're happy, and then you forget to do the maintenance plan. So one of the things we focus on are mobile applications and websites. So with mobile applications, you know, you need to have a toolbox of, uh, uh, you know, resources that you can use. But some of the standard maintenances that you need to do are security updates, bug fixes, um, audits against the latest versions of iOS and Android OS, um, new feature enhancements, um, and performance monitoring. Because, I mean, I'm sure you've downloaded an app that has uh, been out of date and it runs and it crashes because you've gotten the latest version of iOS. And you need to, a lot more app owners out there need to think of it as car maintenance, for example. Uh, you know, you have a car, you change the oil, you change the brakes, uh, you need to think of your applications more in those terms, uh, that way they continue to perform well. Um, speaking about, um, you know, websites, which is our next uh, a topic is, is um, you know, one of the biggest CMS platforms out there is WordPress. Uh, hackers are everywhere. Uh, they exploit anything that is not updated um, some of the maintenance tasks you need to do is you need to make sure that you're backing up daily or you run the risk of losing everything. Um, user experience is everything. Um, and one of, uh, so in this example here, um, let me just show you, uh, like this site here, there are 13 updates that need to be um, applied, but that's not even the biggest issue. Biggest issue is PHP update required. Um, that one is, uh, critical because their uh, PHP has security patches in it that it needs to be updated. Uh, site health, um, you need to take a look at that because you know that is an overall indicator from WordPress telling you that you need to uh, fix some stuff. Uh, and then plugins, you know, you got 13 plugins you need to update too. So these are all very important things that need to be fixed uh, in order to make sure that you do not get a low performance score. Like in the next uh, slide here, uh, Google has Lighthouse. And uh, if you run that and you get a low performance score, people are not going to engage with your website. They're not going to want to come back and see you. All right, James, thank you so much for telling us about that. And if you are interested in learning more about SparkTech, you can visit their website and contact them at teamsparktech.com. Thanks again, James. Thank you.